So have you ever watched any of the variety games I play, McConnell? Uh, yeah, you were like racing against this ghost car on these tracks or whatever. Track mania! You yeah, like that? That's about, the, that's about the only thing I can stomach from you. What about scary games? Like scary games? What about new releases? Checking those out. Nah, I just don't like scary games because I know you fake all your reactions. You already told me off stream you fake everything. Oh my god, you motherfucker. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so triggered. You think, I, you think I'm that good at acting? <laughs> Fuck you, man. Fuck you. God. God, out of all these people telling me exposed, I'm sure one of them fucking means it too. I'm so annoyed. <laughs> so annoyed. <laughs> More that I didn't even begin to touch on. There's you know a lot of tiny changes, a lot of new art assets, things that you'll be seeing soon. But we're incredibly excited to share this with you. And again, just to recap, we have a new Warfront, two new raids, two new islands, island improvements, heritage armor for non-allied races, broader systems improvements, and more. Can't wait to see you on the public test realm. Can't wait for everyone to jump on and check it out. Again, thank you for tuning in. Uh, and we have a whole lot more to discuss in the future when it comes to Battle for Azeroth as a whole. But when it comes to the story, when it comes to the content in the game, we have Every, you know, we're viewing the Legion patch plan as our template, and that's what we want to carry forward. We always want to make sure that the world is evolving, the story is evolving, the things you have to do in the game are evolving, and that the content is well-paced. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you all later. What were you doing when you weren't stream progress right now? So you're asking what I did during raid breaks when we weren't stream progress. I generally, it was a mixture of um, like actually making food, you know, I, you, like I lived at my parents' place last time, so I would go outside and I would like lie down with the dogs and I'd roll around with the dog, you know, that was pretty fun. Um, and then yeah, pretty intense masturbation normally. So sort of violent pornography, just really some of that frustration. Um, do you think the boss is perfectly tuned? It's pretty well tuned. While talking, I know the number of people who are wondering where Kultiran and Zandalari are. Um, we talked about them in the past as an upcoming allied race. We're not quite yet there in the story, but they're very, very close. Uh, I think in the events following the raid, that's where this bond between our new allies and our factions will truly be forged and where we'll be able to recruit and bring the Kultiran and the Zandalari formally into our factions. And no, if you're wondering, if you're worrying or wondering about this, you're not going to have to wrap up with some new faction. If you are, you know, exalted with the Proud More Admiralty or Zandalari Empire, and you've done the war campaign, that's enough. You've played through the story, you've earned their alliance, they will come join your faction. But that's not going to happen until after the raid. Player bait, that's the thing. They have created these barriers and these walls for the developers and the people at Blizzard to communicate with the player base. And because they have all these these walls and red tape and rules, then they can't communicate. And this is why the problem keeps happening. Because they need to change it at an internal level. That is what the issue is. What's a good company that has, like, good... Or what's a company that has good, like, communication between Grinding players? Gear Games. Path of Exile. What do they do? They listen to the community and they respond to feedback. Getting monk. Yep. Big bite. You stand for him. Oh my oh, god! god. Oh my, I hit him with a 30k. And I hit him for a 45k. <laughs>